just seen a world's first in measurement capability. A high-speed, single transient waveform being acquired, digitized, computer analyzed, and the results displayed, all in a matter of seconds. Let's examine why the foregoing was such a breakthrough. For many years, scientists have found it difficult to acquire high-speed, single transient waveform data. Now, the standard procedure has been to use an oscilloscope with a camera to record the one-shot event. As the film was collated, it was necessary to manually transcribe the scope number and knob settings onto the film, allowing for human errors to be introduced. The film recording process is a time-consuming, tedious, and sometimes frustrating one. After a good photo was obtained, then another tedious process was necessary. That was manually measuring, converting, and doing calculations on the waveform data. However, as the quantity of waveforms per experiment steadily increased, the old manual methods of evaluating the waveforms became unmanageable. Added to this problem was the need for increasingly complex computations on the waveform. Due to this increasing volume of data and complexity of the computations, computer analysis became a real necessity. Data centers were set up by many companies where the experimenter could bring his pictures, have them digitized, and computer analyzed. Unfortunately, as time passed, requirements in this area also continued to grow to the point where an experimenter might have to wait many hours to many days for the results of his experiment. But scientists can now take heart because we have entered a new age of measurement capability with the Tektronix R7912 transient digitizer. Gone forever are the nerve-knotting photographic procedures, the rule, the slide rule, yes, even the photographic digitizers. Now, the acquired waveform can be automatically digitized, stored, and computer processed in seconds. Now all of that happened pretty fast. Let's go back and examine just what happened in more detail. The desired physical phenomena is detected by the transducer and converted into an electrical waveform. This waveform is then transferred to the input of the type R7912. Once in the R7912, the waveform is digitized, that is, broken down into binary digital words describing the shape of the waveform. After digitizing, the binary words are stored in a digital memory contained in the R7912. The computer now addresses the R7912, requesting the data contained in its memory. The R7912 sends this data to the computer where various kinds of analysis can be performed on the waveform. The computed data, either in the form of alphanumerics or wave shapes, can be output to a display terminal. Now, let's examine how the type R7912 did its digitizing. The heart of the R7912 is its high-speed scan converter CRT developed by Tektronix. The signal waveform is written on a silicon diode array target, and then the waveform information is scanned off the target and processed. The scanning ramps operate continuously. When a single transient signal occurs, the waveform is presented to the right end of the CRT and written onto the target. The scanning beam then immediately begins to cause the waveform data to be sent to the processing circuits. The digitized waveform now resides in the internal memory in the form of many 
10-bit digital words. When a command is received from the outside world, usually a, a computer or controller, the memory sends its data out on the data lines. You probably noted a television output on the diagram. Now this is provided to allow monitoring repetitive waveforms on a television monitor. You'll note that this output is provided ahead of the digitizing circuitry. Now that we've briefly shown how the R7912 works, let's look at its performance characteristics. The R7912 is the world's fastest single transient digitizer. However, it also operates in the television mode, offering many advantages for viewing high speed, low repetition rate signals. All of this is possible at a bandwidth of 500 megahertz through a preamplifier plug-in or one gigahertz direct access. While the R7912 operates on a scan conversion technique, if one equated its performance to uh, an A to D converter, it would have a variable clock rate of up to 100 gigahertz. Now this is accomplished by having 512 addressable points with the time base set at 0.5 nanoseconds per division or a 5 nanosecond window. There are also 512 addressable points in the vertical direction. Because we deal with finite write and read beam widths as well as some other minor system ambiguities, we say that the system resolution is 320 lines in the vertical direction and 400 lines in the horizontal. There is an optional internal memory available to allow the waveform to be saved for later retrieval, thus eliminating the need for a dedicated computer or external memory. Mainframe flexibility is maintained by the use of plug-in amplifiers and time bases. The R7912 is compatible with most of our 7000 series oscilloscope plug-ins. Tektronik's developed software allows you to do such computer analyses as pulse parameter measurements, waveform multiply and divide, waveform integrate and differentiate, and waveform correlation, convolution, and fast Fourier transform. Now, these measurements are made easy by the use of tech basic commands. If you're not satisfied with the single transient acquisition system you presently have, enter the new era of computer-aided transient measurements with the Tektronics type R7912. Allow us to give you proof positive with an actual on-site demonstration.